What up, bitches? What's up, everybody? Stop. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> camera is definitely yeah, right, right a little far over. Casey, Casey bumped the fucking camera. So. Right before we are about to go on, I bumped the fucking camera. God damn it. Of course he did. Uh, everybody uh, in chat, how's it going? Um, Tig, Mama Bear, I saw you in there. Uh, if Tuffy. anyone... Uh, we, we fucked with the sound a little bit uh, because we were getting some crazy echo and stuff. So if anyone can't hear someone or someone's too loud, let us know in the chat. So we can uh, fix that. Yep. Only, only you can prevent prevent uh, ear splitting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or or, or uh, the only bitch is Greg and he is mine. <laughs> All right, then. So uh, this week's band of the week was a hardcore band by the name of Overblood. Uh, they are from Italy. And they are tear blood. Yeah. They're tearing shit up from uh, Italy. So uh, go check them out. You can go... Uh, to overblood.bandcamp.com and uh, get it. They have quite a quite a few albums out actually. So uh, go check them out. What's up, Tigger? <laughs> and I suppose What'd we you should just say. I said Tigger. Right. Yeah. Not, not yeah. Black America. Now we're going on. <laughs> Moving along. Uh, today's beer of the week is Lagunitas Daytime Ale. You can see that pretty pretty little bottle here. Um, Lagunitas makes really good beer. Uh, when I went to California, I lived about, or I didn't live, but I was staying about six hours from where the main brewing company was. I was staying with people that were actually from the hometown. Uh, Lagunitas always uses really good hops, good imperial hops, so it's always a good taste. And uh, uh, this is this is a dry hopped ale with an OG of one point oh four two, blah 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 blah, and just four point six five percent alcohol. That's it. So it's a session beer. Well, that's that's why it's session. called daytime ale. No, oh, okay. It's yeah, a, uh, I've only ever tried what was it the little something something and um, Lugwinator and what was the other one Lugwinator yeah and then there was something else Maximus that, yeah this is a fractional IPA I'm curious fractional yeah does I don't it know mean what that we means. have to do math when we drink it yeah I think it, <laughs> I think it means that Greg's gonna be left out for the next minute or so so let's move on okay cheers Mike <laughs> <laughs> fucking assholes. Oh, yeah, I could drink that all day. Yeah, that's a definitely Lagunitas. <laughs> that is a Session IPA. It's not at all strong. It's just very uh, very good. It tasty. is dry. It is dry. Um, Taste, it's tasty. At the end there, it gets dry. Like when you're uh, fucking a girl and it feels like you're fucking sandpaper because her waterworks are broke. Um, all right, then. Yeah. Um, I Yeah, I like it. It's a little too dry for me, though, at the end. Um, oh, you're, it's because you're a bitch. Yeah, I like a moister beer. Uh, <laughs> a beer that gets me drenched and moist. Um, so if I would rate it, I would give it three and a half out of five female ejaculations. I'm going four. four? I'm going four, uh, four out of five female what do you ejaculations. Think, right? <laughs> uh, seven. <laughs> seven. going to go for a seven. Smells delicious. These amps go to 11. <laughs> it is really smelly, actually. But why, why not just you know make ten ten louder and make ten the loudest? Set? Yeah. No, these go to eleven. <laughs> it does. It does smell it. Very very smelly beer. It smells like when you haven't washed your vagina in three months. Um, I love the way it we go. Smells right really to vaginas. good. Yeah, just vaginas are awesome, man. Right. It's a it's a natural lubricating hole for men to put their penises. Like God knew what He was doing. <laughs> I love how you guys cheers in his face. Like, hey, let's wave this in his face. <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty much the the plan. He 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 fucked he up. We did. Greg knows he fucked up. It's not our fault. We're not, we're not gonna we're not gonna you know sh shy away from our lives because of him. <laughs> you should. <laughs> hey, we He's brought like, I'm an addict. Do we, it. We invited you on the show. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Quit your crying. Yeah, Greg ain't crying. He's just, he's just. Lonely. I'm really fucking tired. <laughs> oh, why are you, you tired? You and me both. I started uh, third shift, so. Oh yeah, that's right. So what time are you getting at, up in the morning these days? In the morning? <laughs> Afternoon. Uh, like 5:30 p.m. I don't know how you how you sleep. 
I, c- I was never good at third shift. I can't sleep very well. I'm, I, I sleep just fine. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know man. how with all that caffeine you drink. <laughs> I need I, need I, I don't think dark. caffeine phases me. I did too many drugs. That's yeah, the think? problem. Yeah, think? I'm just glad you got a job. Okay. My fingers hurt. Look, I got fucking blisters. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> See no. See shit? Uh, Greg uh, got a job at Third Chef putting vacuum cleaners together. Um, yep. He probably takes his time off to clean his room, if you know what I mean. Uh, what, what part of the vacuum cleaner do you put together? Uh, yesterday, I was doing the hoses. Oh, the hoses. Yes, you were. <laughs> he was doing the hoses. <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking sound effects are all quiet and shit. Yeah, we need a digital it. interface. Please become patrons. We really need you. <laughs> We do. Yeah, we yeah. we need money to buy a digital interface so that we can adjust the levels on our stuff better. On our stuff better. Yes, nah. we do. We We're need... poor. Right. Actually, speaking of poor, since I uh, had a week's vacation, I don't know if I'm making rent this week or this month. Mm, fuck it. Your landlord doesn't. Uh, you still have no bathroom door, so you know, <laughs> yeah, I, know. I think we can call it even at this point. The, f- the funny thing is, is I still have November and October rent to give him because I haven't seen him. I don't know where the fuck he's at. <laughs> like I just. I remember Sounds when, like it's time for a party. Actually. Yeah, I yeah. remember when I first moved in here. I was like, I was like, yo, what? Uh, you know, can it, can I get your address so I can drop the rent off your house? He's like, oh, you'll see me. So, uh, Mama Bear wants to know what is Patreon. Uh, Patreon is actually a way that you can uh, pledge a little bit of money each episode, um, and every time we put one out, uh, it can be as little as a buck, or it can be up to like a hundred dollars an episode if you were crazy enough to do that. Uh, and every little bit of uh, that comes and we use it to make the show better. You know, like we use patron money to buy these curtains and these curtains fi- ah. fix our computer. So if you want to get in on that, it's uh, patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. I'll type the link here in the chat too. So, Mom yeah, Mom, Bear, it's basically that, it's awesome. a way for us that if something breaks, we have some money to fix it. And the other cool <laughs> thing though is if you become a patron, we're doing this once a month after party show. And uh, we've been doing some like dumb shit in there. <laughs> yeah, last uh, last Patreon show, Greg made prison stromboli. It was fucking delicious. It was fucking delicious. He made the dough out of ramen noodles and crackers and water, and he put a bunch of shit in it. First time I ever had stromboli with pickles in it. It was actually pretty fucking good, though. I'll tell you what. Uh, that was one of the most delicious things I ever had in my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, prison people, man. When you when you run low on time, man, it's fucking you got. You have all the time in the world to come up with ideas. And might as well make prison stromboli. Or, you know, fuck another dude in the ass. Whatever they do in prison. When in doubt, <laughs> prison stromboli. Yeah, stinky crackers. And then I uh, I made some prison hooch that may or may not have given us botulism. Yeah. You, know? the thing you didn't die, though, so you're right. Yeah, we didn't <laughs> die. It, it, it was a good time. You should go. But uh, if you become a patron, you can uh, actually get on our patron site and check all that shit out. It's all available for people. We posted the archives up there. Yeah, like one week we did uh, Trap or Fap. Uh, we had women with their body parts covered up, and we had to see if they were a male or female. And then uh, the other week we played Mortal Kombat, where Jay just picked uh, Liu Kang. And I kicked the and, shit out of uh, you. Yeah, just, because you just can. shank kicked me all the time. Yeah, we, <laughs> watch it. That's the shit we're not allowed to say. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's literally and, the that reason why we have a patron show. We can't say shit like that on the normal show. Ching chong, bing bong. Ching chink isn't and it, really a bad word. And That's what, <laughs> the fuck That's what not. editing's for. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just edit it out. What, what are we at here? Oh, it doesn't say the time. I'll just, I'll just, it'll buff You're gonna out. You're going to have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it'll buff out. Yeah, you, you can't say that. It's like calling somebody a dirty little kike. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. another one I got to edit yeah. out. <laughs> well, I mean, it's true. Oh, man. Is the washing machine fixed? Yes. Fucking finally. Yes, it is. It is fixed yet. For those of you who are curious, um, we should be able to work on the arcade cabinet tomorrow. Yes. Um, yeah, for people that were wondering about the arcade cabinet we've been working on every Wednesday, uh, we're going to try to do it tomorrow. Yeah, we should be. <laughs> every Wednesday. We did it once until yeah. I had to wait for my washing machine twice. But uh, we should be doing it. I don't know if it's going to be noon on the dot because I have to go pay fines because I got busted for driving without Yeah, tell, tell this story, Jay. I think I did last week, didn't oh, I? Oh, you did? But I don't know about Whatever. So I, <laughs> yeah, no, because it was on the Tuesday. It was your on your Tuesday. wife ain't watching, so you can make fun of her right now. Oh, uh, I got... Uh, I, I got busted because how old are you guys? Mid thirties? Yeah, that's that's pretty close. Yeah. Uh, I got busted driving without a, a, a an inspection for my car because I was planning on selling the damn thing anyway. So I knew I was tempting fate, but I got busted. Anyway, um, 
not but like uh, three days later, my wife got busted for speeding. <laughs> Yeah. So So I've had a bad week. She was giving Jay shit about him getting his ticket and everything like that. And then she goes like 51 and a 35 and then she gets a ticket. So, So. but you know what? They were using that vast car crap. You know, you guys know what that is. They sit there with a fucking stopwatch and time between how long it takes to get between two lines. Like you said, there's a fucking, there's a heroin epidemic going on right now. They're worried about speeders. I know. Get the fuck out of here. How how about the heroin epidemic? There, there, Greg. Yeah. (laughs) What about it? (laughs) Fucking pigs. (laughs) No, I like a lot of cops. I'm actually friends with a bunch of them. It just, uh, it just makes no sense. They're strictly by the book, and I don't That's like it. That's such nonsense. Pricks. Yeah, fucking that... sending Greg to jail and shit. <laughs> they don't like when you burglarize places and steal shit. Nah, they tend to not not do enjoy drugs. It. Nah, they don't generally like when you light stuff on fire either. <laughs> That was a long time ago. But yeah, they, they generally don't. Greg's whole life has been uh, in trouble with it's the law. It's been a series of fuck ups, really. Much. The, like his whole life. Speaking of fines, I got a lot of those. <laughs> the yeah. funny part is he's smart, like stupidly so. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah, because he's the one that me, me and Jay are like trying to figure out all this technology bullshit. We're like, wait a minute, Greg's a fucking IT guy. <laughs> the sad part is, Why I'm, don't we ask him. The sad part is I'm really good at it too, but nowhere near as well as good as he is, and I embarrass myself. Yeah. So. Yeah. I I think all of those racial comments we did. I think I'm just gonna leave him. <laughs> Fuck uh, it, we'll tempt fate. Yeah. I want I, I want to see uh how uh much we can get away with on iTunes. <laughs> oh, okay. Mama bear beat me. Bad week. I have four daughters, one with a boyfriend, two are teenagers. You win. You win. <laughs> Speaking of relationships, Casey. The fuck how's, is that? How's mean? that girlfriend doing? I don't have a fucking girlfriend. Right. You just know a girl who'd get really mad if she heard you say that. No. <laughs> no, she watches this shit. And she wouldn't. She'd be like, "Yeah, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't give a fuck." Okay, you guys mm-hmm. have sex. She's cooking you dinner tomorrow. Tomorrow, she comes and hangs around at your house all day. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a fucking duck. No, that's not how it works. The fuck it is absolutely how it works. No, 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 no. See, the only reason I, I am... <laughs> Chelsea right there. says, yes, you do. Chelsea just has this fantasy that... There's no fantasy. Yeah. Chelsea... You spend a lot of time with her. I don't she spend a lot of time with her. The fuck you don't. Domestic violence check. Actually, yes, it is. domestic violence Actually, check. it is, Trevor. Uh, that story, if you remember, I was talking about... Um, I got a little caveman uh, during sex, and I slapped a woman across the face. It is the same woman. She works all day, <laughs> Jay. What, what are you telling me? I... <laughs> I don't. He spends a fair amount of time with her that he possibly can. I know. And it's at. like how did how did I find a girl that has a job? <laughs> that, that's hard to have. I mean, it's not like I'm but saying she's not that, your girlfriend. No, friend. but she is. No, she's not. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, I'm it's so probably a duck. Right now. Yeah, you can go. Fuck I'm not even yourself. high, and I'm really fucking confused. <laughs> that's what I just don't. She's just like me. We don't care. It's whatever. We don't have to put labels on shit. It's just like, hey, I like spending time. You know, you know hey, who I like say that? Time with you too. Let's spend some time together. That's all it is. That's all it has to be. You know who people? Who, you, you know what people are? The people that say that they don't like putting labels on shit. Hmm. People are too much of a Jews. bitch to admit that they have a girlfriend. I, dude, we don't have. No, <laughs> I don't have a fucking girlfriend, dude. It's what? just someone I hang out with, all man. Right. All right. Yeah, and uh, yeah. he stuck girl gum in his girlfriend's hair. Uh, you know what? Why don't you tell that story? Uh for some fucking reason, I don't know. Um, I wasn't gonna tell the story, but she. Already oh, you are now. <laughs> she 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 already said I can do it. So um, you know, who cares I, what she said? I was. She having, thought your girlfriend. I was having intercourse with a woman, <laughs> and um, she had gum in her mouth, and it was getting really really annoying. So what I did was is I, yeah, me having sex. It's such a horrible horrible idea. Oh my god, it uh, must be like just two white pasty uh, little Pillsbury rolls bouncing uh, up and down. It looks like the Pillsbury doughboy trying to fuck a keyhole. <laughs> Whoa, the my, fuck what? happened to your computer? <laughs> this monitor shit. Yeah. Um yes it is. But for some reason, she had gum in her mouth still. I don't know why. Uh it was getting really annoying. So I just put my hand out. I was like, just spit it in my hand. So she spit it in my hand and I put it on the desk behind me. It's not the first time you've ever said that. Yeah, I know how about it. Um and then, so, you know, we, we keep going or whatever like that, and we're done, and she goes into the bathroom to clean up, and she goes, oh, my fucking God. I'm like, what the fuck happened now? I thought she got pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> because she would know that immediately. Yeah, exactly. Um, she goes, I have fucking gum in my hair. Now, remind you, the thing that sucks about this is it wouldn't have been so bad, but she had to go and have breakfast with her family in like an hour. 
So um, maybe, maybe you wait to you know, <laughs> or maybe you do the fucking a little earlier in the evening. Uh, it was is a. F- Having sex with me is like a. I mean, I, I get, meal. I get it, it that takes it's a, a while. I get that it's a session. <laughs> it takes a while to get it up, I guess, right? Yeah, You're yeah. Old. You know, I, I need, some, I need to snort a lot of Viagra. Um, you know, got to fucking take a car battery and you know tie it to my I, balls. I, I get that it's, it's a session. It's a process at this point. I get that, but yeah. you still just start a little bit. Oh, we're, we're just ir- that's why we get along. We're just both really irresponsible people. Um, so she has, no. so she's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I'm just standing there like, I don't have long hair. I've never had gum in my hair. I don't know what to do. So she Googles what to do. And it said, uh, take vegetable oil or peanut butter. In the future, ice cubes work better. <laughs> in the future. Um, and take a toothbrush and dip it in the vegetable oil or peanut butter and then streak it through your hair. We use vegetable oil. It worked like a motherfucker. So anyone, like, it actually worked really, really fucking well. We got the huge chunk out. Um, she was still picking some out yesterday, I think. Uh, <laughs> For less of a mess, use an ice cube and freeze it. It, it crumbles off. Oh, really? Anyway, yeah, I had long hair at one point. Yeah. Yeah, Jay did. He looked like the cowardly lion. I looked like that dude from Coheed and Can- Coheed and <laughs> Cambria. Uh, he he looked like the cowardly lion, like a mix of the cowardly lion and Chewbacca without a perm. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and so, Greg was once not bald, believe it or not. Yeah, Greg wasn't bald. He used to have hair a little bit. Yeah, like a hundred years ago. Hundred years ago. Hundred one years ago. Yeah, I think it was hundred two. Hundred two years ago, and a lot less drugs. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so people out there, uh, if you ever are having sex with gum in your mouth, do not put it near you. Why would, why you, would you even... Yeah, why would you do that in the first place? Why I would I do what? Ha- have sex with gum in your mouth. I, she forgot. Just like there's, you, there's just more like you forgot to not who, do heroin. We're, we're, we're talking about your girlfriend, right? <laughs> there, there's more... I don't, I don't know who what you're talking about. That. <laughs> there's more important things to be putting in her mouth than gum. Yes, right. exactly. Uh, like my butthole. Um... <laughs> Ashley, the neighbor wants to know, Greg, did you get a job? Unfortunately, yes. Yes, we were just talking about that, Ashley. He got a job at uh, ShopVac where he puts the hoses together. <laughs> yep. CM1954 says, love the Steelers emblem. Yes, our Steelers emblem. Uh, actually, He's a Cowboys fan. I am, yeah, I am a Cowboys fan. That, that what the fuck is that wrong with you? With Cowboys rock, man. They got five Super Bowls. Five. Five. You know where you live, Who right? That's five. Actually, a bunch of people do. Yeah. <laughs> the Patriots. Pittsburgh. Yeah. No, they have six. Right. Uh, Patriots. Um, who else has it? Patriots, 49ers, um, and the uh, Cowboys all have five, and the Steelers have six. Greg, you should come over to meet his See, girlfriend. Your girlfriend. She's over here now. Everybody else says your girlfriend. She's not my fucking yet. Yeah. Okay. Everyone I, says- like I said, I'm pretty sure she might be a little upset to hear you say that. No. No, she does not. Megan, I know you're there. Get on the don't chat. Don't say her name. It, I don't want people to know It was his girlfriend until <laughs> just now. I know I know you're on there. Get on the chat. Come clear clear this up. She doesn't give a fuck. We must know. She gives a fuck. No, she we doesn't. Know. Everyone gives That's a fuck. That's why me and her get along. We don't she, give a she fuck She won't about admit nothing. it. She wants Did you to lock the like door. Her. She might come over and just no, she won't. beat you to fuck up. She doesn't like me that much. <laughs> oh my God, listen. Do you guys understand how broken this fucker is? Her phone's charging. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. But she's but she's listening. listening. Oh yeah, she's always listening. Nah. She's always listening. West Texas eight oh six joined us. Hello, West Texas. Thank you for joining us. Hey, we I remember you from last, you last week, man. Week. Yeah, how you doing, man? Uh, uh, we liked you last week. You uh, sexified us. <laughs> yeah, which is what, what your girlfriend will not be doing anymore because you deny her now. See, when you guys you say definitely this, ain't getting cooked can, food tomorrow. Can you guys explain this girlfriend thing? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, let's see. There's a girl who comes to hang out at your house. So, uh, she she comes out and hangs There's out. There's girls your that house. come and hang out at your she, house. She and has your girlfriend. She has sex with you. Who uh, says we have sex? Uh, you, you did. <laughs> you do. Hey man, you just no, literally told a no. story. We were playing Yahtzee. Uh, right. When the gum went uh-huh. right there. Yeah, yeah, Yahtzee. Right. You said the words having <laughs> intercourse. Oh wait, you can't I, even. Like, there she is. <laughs> there right. she is. Hello. Right. What are your thoughts? Megan, hello. What are your thoughts on this whole thing? We would like, we would she like your give a mi- fuck. mini clarification. No, 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 no. We, please. She does not give a fuck. I, I think she does. I, 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 I got to tell another funny story. We need to open up the fucking phone lines again, to, just to just to have no, a conversation. No, phone, yes, people suck. Uh, <laughs> Come to the window. I'll open the window. Another funny story, though. So I was uh, watching TV with my friend. Um, oh, oh. oh. Casey, oh, am shit. I that bad? Yeah, she you, says you, you are. Um, oh. So <laughs> ex-girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. Yes. 
So I, I'm watching TV. It's about six in the morning. My mom texts me. Uh, she goes, "Do you like these shoes?" <laughs> because in in it's, Casey's yeah. mom's mind, he's perpetually six. Yeah, exactly. Uh, she wants to know if she wants to get me these shoes for my birthday. I'm like, "Yeah, I like them." She goes, "I'm not keeping you awake, am I?" I go, "No, I have a friend over. We're watching TV." She goes, "Awesome, friend." So I went to my birthday's birthday party, and she's like, "So how was your you know the time with your friend?" I was like, "Good. We were just watching TV." She's like, "Oh, that's what you kids call it these days." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" She's like, "When I was younger, we used to call it playing Yahtzee." <laughs> so I guess before Netflix and chill, um, they used to call it playing not the Yahtzee. I almost said Nazi. playing Nazi. <laughs> yeah, playing Nazi. Uh, Do you have your papers? <laughs> your girlfriend says you keep letting me come back for some reason. You're as broken as him. What the hell? That's because she keeps sneaking in the basement door. I keep I keep tying her leash to the tree, but she keeps getting off somehow. After hearing <laughs> about your sex capades, I'm not entirely sure that that's not entirely true. Yeah. See, I told you, man. She's just like me. She's just fucked up. She doesn't give a fuck. I wouldn't admit to that if I were you. She just yeah. She just doesn't give a fuck at all about anything. Like, do, does she not give a fuck, or is she just trying to keep you pleased so you'll stay around? No, nah, I don't know. She is crazy. Mm. So <laughs> that's a question. Chelsea says we're planning it. <laughs> Yeah, Chelsea says we're planning the wedding right now. Uh, Ashley says, oh, she gets off. Oh, man, there's fucking... What's up, West Texas? Good evening, you... men and Jay. Hello, no, West Texas. No change of the subject. Uh, what the, they have, wait, when did fucking Periscope get emojis? Chelsea, what, what what's that fucking goddamn wedding emojis? <laughs> <laughs> See, Ashley, no, she doesn't give a fuck, like I said. She doesn't really give a fuck. Me and her just hang out. We play Scrabble. Um, we knit together. We play Scrabble. Uh, we go to petting zoos. You play. You play. You play naked <laughs> twisters. What you do? No, I'm, I'm horrible at naked twister because um, I don't like feet, so I always wear my socks and I slip. You're such a man child. <laughs> There's only one thing you should do with uh, with, 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 <laughs> with your fucking socks on. What's that? Slide across the uh, the floor like uh, Tom Tom, Tom Cruise and risky, risky business. business. <laughs> that's that's the only thing. <laughs> they play play Yahtzee. No, they they play more like bang the headboard on the wall. That's what no, they play. I don't have a bed here. Um, so that's what we thought you were doing we when we got here, and you made us stand outside for forty five fucking oh, minutes. Oh fuck you! I was we playing. Figured. I was playing Diablo three. Right. Of course Greg you were. Ultra. Greg just got jealous that I was playing video games and he couldn't because he went to prison. And, and then you start washing your dishes when we're setting <laughs> we're up We're setting up and you're washing dishes. Hey, man. I got to wash dishes, man. That's because we fucking, every time we do this, we go through like fucking 15 cups. Your time management is terrible. Oh, my time management is fucking horrible. Oh, Jesus. Fucking horrible. Like, uh, I, I, we know. I just tell people that, like, right up front. Like, if I become friends with you, one of the first things I tell you is I'm probably going to fuck your mother. And, never never expect him on time. Yeah, my time management is fucking god awful. Oh, we know. we know. I've worked with you for the last hour many years. <laughs> I used to have to come pick you up and you still didn't make it to work on time. Yeah, I know. It was a tragedy. It's like I come up over to your house. Come on, man, you're gonna be late. Uh, I still I'm in the shower. Yeah, I just have horrible time management. That's because I we just know. hate working and I don't want to go. You know what it is? You see, you lack that thing that we all have. You know that you know that feeling Greg Greg can attest to this. You know that feeling in the pit of your stomach when you know you're late and you're like, Oh fuck. You know that that, that anxiousness? Yeah, I'm always early. Yeah. Yeah. You're not see, early, you're already late. Greg uh, we we answered that. Greg always comes early. Right. <laughs> anyway <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah. You you don't have that. You completely lack that. Yeah, that, I do. That feeling of urgency that when, oh, shit, when I'm, I'm going to be late if I don't hurry up. You completely lack that. Yeah, I just that. I just don't give a fuck. Because usually uh, where I work, I go there and everyone just stops working and they just let me do it. So I just hate it. <laughs> Casey, you can fuck my fat, insane mother if you want. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. See, that's friendship right there, Trevor. I appreciate that from the bottom of my so, black So Trevor's going to fuck you. You're gonna fuck his mother. You got a cool little love triangle. Yeah, it's gonna be like the human centipede. If if your sexy life was a board game, what would it be? Mine would be sorry. <laughs> that's yeah. That's that's usually what I say after sex, West Texas. I'm like, Ugh, sorry. Uh, uh, he, here's a here's a coat hanger and a Plan B pill. Just uh, pick one. Um, but actually, the best time is when you can find a woman that just uh, chases the Plan B pill with your load. Just get two birds, one stone. <laughs> if a girl ever did that from me, I'd probably marry her. Wait, 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 you see the fatal flaw in this, right? <laughs> you just never mind. 
You just take it all down one but thing. If you <laughs> swallow the load, there's no need for the, the plan B pill. I know, but what if what if you come in and in, in her and then like there's so much you bring it up and it just hoses into her mouth. What are you? <laughs> what, what the fuck is wrong with you? What are you? What are you? I don't know, actually, to tell you the truth. I I mean seriously, what 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 are you? I I don't know. I'm a Terminator sent from the future <laughs> to intercept John Connor. That's what I am. That's what I think <laughs> all night at ShopVac while I'm watching these fucking robots. Yeah. On on the prices and shit. Yeah. That's all I think about. <laughs> These things are going to kill me. You think about Terminator. They're going to kill me, yeah. <laughs> You're waiting for ShopVac to become self-aware. Right. Yes, yeah, ShopVac's already self-aware. It hired Greg. Right, right. <laughs> it's like this poor soul. Well, I mean, my mom works in HR, so. Oh, does she really? Do you see her a lot? No, I work third shift. She oh, works okay. first. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, she I kind of live with third my shift. mom, so. <laughs> yeah, I see her a lot. Do you get along with your mother? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Donna's, Donna's cool. I never met Donna. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. She's she's a she's got way more patience than any human being ever should. Oh, well, having Greg as a kid. <laughs> no, Greg's the good one. Greg, you're the good one. Yeah. Oh Jesus, is your brother in jail now? Not yet. Not he, yet. Is he or should he be? He he. Like I was telling Jay earlier, he's kind of at this point. I think he's either gonna. He's not at the point of no return yet. He's either gonna go left or right. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? We're talking So using, we're in politics using. now. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no. So left, he's going in circles. Yeah. Ch- chasing the dragon. <laughs> chasing the dragon. Chasing Jay, the, yeah, white, the was, white pony. I was friends with him for a little while on Facebook, and he used to post a bunch of stuff, and now I don't see him post anything. Yeah, he, he deactivated Facebook because it's too much drama. I don't... And the ABC, because you know, it's kind of hard being Snoop Double Double G. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Facebook's too much drama. I mean, you know, injecting heroin into your veins isn't, but Facebook's too much drama. Sure. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. One of these days, Greg, we're going to stop making fun of you. <laughs> we're going to stop. That would be boring. Yeah. <laughs> would be a... He provided us with a lot of material for the last, last couple I know. Of I, I just can't help it, man. I missed I just, him last You week. had your life together. <laughs> I did, I did, but I didn't. Yeah, it, it was, it was still all fucked. See, that's the thing. Once I found out you did heroin, I was like, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. He, yeah, I was still all he, fucked. I just yeah. made money. That's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't blame you. I just whatever. Life gets, life sucks. I don't blame you. Right. <laughs> I do heroin. You know what? Why don't you guys all do heroin? Yeah, let's all let's actually, all do heroin together. Actually, right. next Patreon Hold only on, show, we're just gonna do heroin the whole episode. <laughs> I, know, I know some people. Oh, you do? Yeah, uh, I got. No. I got. I'm, I got I'm surprised you have to call someone. I thought you were just gonna pull a couple of bags out of your pocket. <laughs> there, there's a there's a side chat going on right now about uh, about people comparing their Facebook pages. I actually have one now. <laughs> you I don't. I don't took hardly, twenty fucking years. I I don't really <laughs> use it still, but I like I figured enough people. I'm I'm kind of an internet personality now. Oh, here we so go. So I need I need here it. we go. You go. <laughs> yeah, he's an internet person. I'm an internet person. We're all internet personalities. Are we this though? Is like, part. does anyone know who we are? No. <laughs> I know some people do. No, really? not really. Like I, I feel like some hold, people. Hold like, on. There's like twelve people. There's twelve people. Yeah, twelve people know. Well, the, uh, that's all that matters. You know, Trevor wants me to fuck his mom. You know, I'd rather have really hardcore fans than a bunch of you know minor fans. Like, try, like you know, I think I think that is very graceful and very uh, romantic in a way. Uh, if someone lets me fuck their mother, <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's just the heroine I want to do is Wonder Woman. Nice. Uh, Gal Gadot. Yeah, what's uh, what's what's her name? Gal Gadot. Wonder, Gal Gadot. Wonder Woman. I would. Uh, I would. I'm probably pronouncing uh, it poorly, but I'd let her shit in my mouth, and then I'd shit out her shit, and then eat that. The shit. The show was ass when Casey was. wasn't there. It was. It was, it was. It was terrible. <laughs> it, was, it was awful. You see. Uh, I, I can't carry the show completely by myself, and <laughs> oh, man. he and my wife were about as uh, much entertainment as uh, dead tree bark. <laughs> dead tree bark. Not just tree bark, dead tree bark. It must have been pretty bad. It, you, you've you seen it, didn't no, you? I didn't watch it, because oh. no, I, I heard it was god-awful. And it, you might bad. go to sleep. And I'm already a depressed piece of shit, so I didn't want to die. <laughs> like what happened to our show? Yeah, you're not allowed to go away anymore. Right? Yeah, I, I know. No matter what, wherever the hell any of us are, we have to like Go and Skype to <laughs> yeah. to, uh, to 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 be here virtually. Yeah. Speaking of Skype, we have a very special guest coming on the show next week. Uh, I can't reveal who it is yet because of some some major national security issues. But uh, you are gonna want to catch the show next week. We have a very it special won't guest. Won't be political. <laughs> it's no. it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a yeah. good time. It's uh, yeah, we we. we uh, People got to come here, check my house out. We had to pull some serious strings to get this guy to, who's, to, who's, to join who's, us. Who's, who's, ugh, I can't talk words. Who's Christina Carter? 
Is that why, a porn why star? Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. It sounds like a porn star or something. I don't know who the hell that is. Oh, Linda it's... Carter. Wait, no, well, yeah, I'm talking Linda. Linda Carter was the original Wonder Woman, right? The alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who, who lost <laughs> her fucking mind. I would have fucked her. Oh, man, she had nice titties. Ugh. Christina Ugh. Carter. It sounds uh, like a porn star. It probably is. It seems to be somebody here. Uh, born Houston, Texas. A band? Uh, a musical person? I don't know. Actually, it sounds like someone that does a duet with Fiona Apple. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know this. She does rock. I guess. I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know who it is. Casey would sew his mouth shut to Gadot's ass. Human centipede. Gal Gadot's ass. Gal Gadot. I don't know. She's Israel. I don't like Jews. Um. <laughs> Bullshit. What's that chick you're obsessed with? Who? The one who's on your phone background. Oh, uh, Haley Steinfeld. Yeah, she's yeah. Jewish as fuck. I know she is, but I don't, I don't get it. Why? That's why I said I thought it was very unusual that I found a Jewish woman attractive. I just no, that's not racist at all. It's not. No. I, dude, I am not racist. The four tires on my car are black. So country singer. That would explain why I don't know who it is. Country's ass. Country's ass. Yeah. It is. It's ass. I like some country. It's like watered down rock. It's yeah, not even, it's not even good. I like I like some country. It's a porn star. Hellsfire yeah. says I'm obsessed with Mila Kunis. Yeah, I I am like she's hot. She's Russian. Mila Kunis is is, is kind of hot, but she's oddly hot. Yeah, she she is oddly hot because I always thought she was really good looking, and then she was like on the Conan O'Brien show one time, and she spoke like Russian, and then I just huge boner, like like I was so uncomfortable with this boner, but I had to pay attention to it, and then I just I thought she was really hot from that. Plus, she plays World of Warcraft, so I can't complain. Uh, so some dude who's got his shirt off says, "Hi, men's I from Brazil. I like very America. <laughs> uh, we like very America too. Uh, yeah, we, we like, like very Brazil because you know what came from Brazil? Sepultura <laughs> and Max Cavalera kicks ass. What's hey. up, Steel Man? How you doing? Oh, you were at the game, uh, the Green Bay game. That was a pretty crazy game. I thought Steelers were gonna fucking destroy him, but it was actually a pretty close game. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld, why you want to fuck him? Because he has maybe. money, man. Kramer, maybe he, he's Jewish. Any Jew has money, man. Why wouldn't you want to fuck a Jew? Um, oh just God, because we just got really that's racist. not racist uh, at all. That, that's no. what I'm. That's what I'm gonna name this episode. It's just gonna be episode sixty-one racism. <laughs> By the way, you Don't need to stop this one. Yeah, don't watch this one. Uh, you need to stop uh, putting sexually explicit terms in our titles. What? what the- uh, Top Buzz keeps booting us out. Yeah, rejected. Are you serious? Yeah. Why? A- Top Buzz doesn't like when we use the word semen. Or ah, fuck Top Buzz then. Yeah. You listen to this, Top Buzz? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cocksuckers. Like, ha- have you listened to our show at all? So no, they don't listen to our show. So we can say all this fucking crap, but you can't. Like, fuck off, dude. What, what is this? What is this? We fought the Nazis. Why are they back? <laughs> that is a good question. Why the fuck are people walking around with Nazis? I thought we solved this problem in like the 60s they and the latest. Always, dude, Nazis have existed since World War II in America. Oh, is They've that... always been here. It's just because of the internet. We think they came back for some reason. They've always been here. Just stop giving them attention. Is Alex Jones coming on the show? It's not funny! I wish, dude. I, Do you I, understand Alex that? Alex Jones... Is all I that don't is like man. putting chemicals in the water <laughs> that turn the friggin' frog. He, he, uh, he's a true American hero. The guy, the guy we're getting costs less than Alex Jones, believe it or not. <laughs> Wait, we have to pay for him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that reminds me, Casey, you're not getting your half of the patron money anytime soon. Yeah, fuck off. That's okay, I'm not making we don't rent. Have any I'm anyway. not making rent this month, so there's going to be no more show. I'm getting kicked out of my house. Oh, that's all right. The show can go on. We could do it with a cell phone if we had to. Huddled in the huddled in the dumpster where you'll see me. I, I say we just do a show where we walk around and talk to homeless people. But there's not a bunch of homeless people around here. Like I, I wish Greg could take us to a trap house. Yeah, Mama Bear. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like fascist Nazis have been around forever, dude. And then all of a sudden, people care for some reason. Like fuck off. <laughs> like the people are, Illinois Nazis, thank yeah. you for the thank you for the Blues Brothers. Pe- people are so fucking stupid. They think Nazis is just like this new thing that's coming around. It's like it's always been around. Like who who they don't fucking really do anything anymore except he, hit people with the their cars. <laughs> Do- Dodge Charger. <laughs> Probably shouldn't read any of those comments. Why? Well, there are they're, they're all bad. No, oh, okay. Steel Man says I'm watching Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Craig was the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer for a while too. <laughs> <laughs> that's why my nose is fucked yeah, up. Did you have a lot of nosebleeds? No, he didn't snort. Didn't it. Snort. Oh yeah, that's right. He went straight to fucking shooting in his veins because that makes He's sense. Got the scars. 
Do yeah. you have scars? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. You look like John Frusciante for fucking <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers. That guy is Did you always have this much fucking arm hair? Or is that from the steroids? I'm not, I'm not sure, actually. I, don't I think remember. it's from the steroids. I don't remember you having this much arm hair. It's uh, from the shark testosterone. Like, up till two, his balls. Two, after, like, up till 2015, like, I kind of raced everything before with all the drugs. <laughs> so I don't really remember what happened before 2015. I remember seeing that when he came here. I'm like, that motherfucker's arm hair is like, he's like ape man. Trevor now. says it's the hep C. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> got it back here, too. Oh, Jesus. What, hair? Yep. So you got hair everywhere but oh, where you're supposed wookie. to. <laughs> Everywhere but where you're yeah, supposed to. That's yeah. what old age does to you, man. Uh, Hell's Fire says... Definitely have hair on my ass, too. Uh, why don't black people take free cruises? Because they aren't falling for that again. <laughs> <laughs> don't you don't have to read these. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Steel Man says he must have fur on his ass. Yeah, he just confirmed that, in fact. Yep. Yeah. Uh, someone stole my toilet and the police have nothing to go on. That is fucking it, hilarious. It, <laughs> By my bye bye men's T I R S. What uh, what is that? Bye. It's the Brazilian <laughs> dude. Bye, dude. Uh, bye. We love America too. We love Brazil. Why do Canadians do it doggy style so they can both watch the hockey game? <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever heard a Canadian joke before. Uh, you, besides them being too nice. Oh, I got one. Do you guys know how to piss off Canadian? What's that? Uh, when they say something about hockey, say, uh, "What kind of hockey were you talking about?" Oh Jesus! It makes him so angry. Oh yeah, it's it's not it, it's not that they don't believe there's other types of hockey like field hockey and shit. Nah. They just prefer it didn't exist. So yeah. They get all angry. What's about... that one movie where they're up in Canada and everyone's being so nice to him and the stereotype and the Canadian niceness? But the one guy goes, "Their fucking beer sucks," and then the Canadians all go crazy and beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> you remember what movie that is? I can't Was it remember. before 2015? I don't. Probably. I don't know this movie. <laughs> I have no idea. Tuffy says, I love Brazilian girls. They have really, like, fucking nice asses, dude. Brazilian women, like, they sort of look like burnt baked potatoes. But, like, their asses are, oh, <laughs> man. What's the problem with an Asian pet store? There's always a kitchen in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Hellsfire, you got some good ones, man. I've never, I, I've heard oh, a lot God. of racist jokes, but I've never heard some of these. It's you know, really good. We're not even racist. We just love a good racist joke. I know. And, that, and that's the thing. Like, top buzz, whatever the fuck they're called. Including about us. Uh, that, that's actually when I'm going to name the ep next episode. It's going to be episode 61, fuck top buzz. <laughs> nice. And probably that will pass. We'll, we'll get banned. It will. <laughs> probably will. I don't know if you can say fuck. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, what fuck, the fuck, fuck is Top Buzz? Is it, is it a podcast system for 12-year-olds? It's like that gay musically and We're shit. Not, well, you know, we've kind, kind of gotten so far away. We're not even a podcast anymore. We're just a bunch of idiots <laughs> who drink and say things. <laughs> That's what a podcast no, is. No, podcasts usually have a point. We lost our point a long time uh, ago. We have a point, dude. You know what did that you point used is? to have a point? Yeah, we did. Not really. The movie was Canadian Bacon. That's it. That's what it was. Yeah. Get Thanks, out, Trevor. you hoser. What is, it with, what is it with uh, Canadians and the hoser thing? I don't know, dude. Canadians don't make sense to me. How many Canadians can you guys name? Mm, uh, John Candy was a Canadian, wasn't he? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Canadians are weird, especially the ones I talked to today. Like they, all, like, they don't live in America, so all they do is watch news about us. And they, like, think that we are in such, like, bad shape down here that it's, like, a third world country right now. And it's like... Dude, it's not that bad. <laughs> they're like, they're like, oh, this this guy's fucking this, and this guy's doing that. I'm like, yeah, it's it's called the news making a big deal out of everything. Like they, well, do. they gotta have ratings, man. I know, but it's just funny. Every Canadian I talk yeah. to thinks that we're such a fucking horrible country because we get to like pick our own people and shit. It's fucking weird. I yep. don't understand it. <laughs> yep, Shania Twain is Canadian. Yeah, uh, Shania Twain is. Mike Myers, yeah. uh, a, uh, Steve Smith. Uh, John Candy's from Toronto. Uh, I thought Michael Jeff Fox Waters was from Shakespeare. <laughs> from <laughs> wait, I almost fell for that one. <laughs> Can you imagine Michael Fox being a wine waiter, <laughs> carrying the train? Well, like, better you like some wine. I hope he has a red shirt. <laughs> I love it though when that one earthquake happened in uh, California a couple years ago. And it just showed a picture of Michael J. Fox that said, "What earthquake?" <laughs> <laughs> for him, it was perfectly stationary. Yeah. <laughs> like everything he held didn't shake at all. Yeah, exactly. We used to have uh, me and Jay actually used to work with a guy. 
he didn't have Parkinson's, but he was just such an extreme alcoholic. He shook like he sh- like his whole body shook. And uh, I forget who it was, but someone handed him a glass of milk, and they were like, "We want a milkshake." <laughs> <laughs> it was actually pretty funny because we called him Shake and Bake, because that's when uh, Talladega Nights was getting popular. And it was probably John King that came up with that name. It sounds like something John King. Would Are you do. sure it wasn't John King? No, it was <laughs> Jeff. Redhead. Oh, right. Redheaded Italian guy. J- George Lopez is Canadian. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking not. Uh, you guys remember Art? Oh, my God, yeah. Who? Art. Art. I don't know if you were there for Art. Art was... Uh... He was a crazy ex-cop that was crazy. <laughs> he was, like, seven feet tall with, like, these glasses and shit, and he was all gangly looking. Yeah. And uh, one day, uh, Brooks... You remember Brooks... Yeah, he showed up at rehab when I was there in 2015. Of course he did. <laughs> did you know about that? Yeah. Of yeah, course. He he, anyway, our our buddy Brooks is one of these kind of guys that if you, if he knows that you're getting bothered, he will just find whatever it is and bothering you and just pick and pick and pick and pick until you finally lose your shit. Well, he was doing it to this guy named Art one day, and he flipped the fuck out. Oh, he screamed into the top of his lungs. He said, "I'm gonna fucking kill you!" Yeah, and like this Art guy. He said he was crazy because he was an ex-cop and it made him nuts. And he just kept on going on about it. And he said that it wasn't dealing with people that made him nuts. It was the paperwork. And he was Yeah, just, sure it was. He was just fucking weird, dude. I don't know. He was so strange. It wasn't all the cocaine he was lifting off yeah. of the uh, had such strange people evidence that room. in that place. We had one guy that called off like every day and said his mom died. Um, that was that was the same shake and bake guy. Yeah, like it just it was too much. And then some guy like used that his house burned down like three times. It was just it was a horrible place to work. And I, I think that was me, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I still remember the time you knocked over a thing of freaking spaghetti sauce and somebody moved oh, it out to be the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, that's hilarious. He used to work there too, and fucking this asshole, he used to take cans of marinara and dump it in the soap where you put the soap in for the dishwasher, so the dishwasher would never work, and people were like, "I wonder why." <laughs> Greg's over I put there way too much soap in it. <laughs> yeah. Like the top <laughs> suds everywhere. The top lifted up, and you, that's where you put the soap, and you would just dump cans of marinara in it. <laughs> we we get wonder it. wonder why I got fired. Yeah, I know. God, that was such a shithole. The sad part is we you didn't get fun, fired though. for anything legitimate. Oh right, I got fired for doing my job. I don't yeah. think you were there. Were you there for that? I no, was. I had off that day. I remember you texted me and tell me about it though. Oh, that shit was crazy. Yeah, you Freaking you were a kitchen manager, and you told someone to stop talking to the guy that was helping you because you guys were busy. Yeah. And he was new. Yeah. And they flipped out on you and fired you over it. Yeah. So how dare you do your job? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that place. But all the other things that we did, I mean, there were a bunch of people who got caught fucking people underneath the stairs. Oh, yeah. Dur- during their shit. the grain room. I mean, we were assholes to people. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. That place was fucking hell, though. We may, uh, I mean, I'm surprised we never made Amelia cry more than we did. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, this fucking dumb bitch. This dumb bitch, dude. And they actually demoted her. She was her. nice, but... Yeah, but she was just so fucking stupid, dude. She she actually got demoted because of me, and I felt bad. Sort of. Um, no, you didn't. Sort of. She, Dick. She, she fucking... Shit. She was giving me shit one day, because me and her always fucked with each other. We were so mean to each other. And I ended up getting her for a secret Santa one year, which was weird. Uh, <laughs> and... Um, she goes, why are you guys so happy back here today? And I'm like, that's because uh, um, you're no longer a server. And it made her cry. Because <laughs> she started out as a host. And she got bumped up to a server. And um, She was bad at it. She was so bad. Uh, the one day at brunch. I hated cooking brunch. Right, right Greg? That shit sucked. Yeah. Brunch sucked. Because you were cooking breakfast and burgers. And if you got 30 burgers, you were fucked. Because the secret to cooking AIDS is to- AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> secret to cooking eggs AIDS is to be Craig's is, system. Yeah, is letting gay people have sex. Um, is you can't let eggs on very long. That's the secret to them. You have to be really quick with them and stuff. But if you're busy with burgers, it's impossible. So she comes in one day and she's like, "I ordered only one order of toast." I'm like, "I know. There's only one order there." She goes, "No, there's four orders." You take two pieces of bread, you put them together, you cut it in half. That's one order. Since I cut it in half, she thought there was four orders of orders of toast. Now, this is a 25-year-old that graduated <laughs> high school. And I am in the middle of a fucking rush, like 300 people, okay, like done for the day. And I have to stop what I'm doing and explain to her basic math. Like, I just, I flipped the fuck out. 
<laughs> she was so dumb. She was so stupid. And, you know, she. here's the thing I almost feel bad about. She used to be a very fat girl at one point and, and you know, worked hard, lost a bunch of weight, but she could never lose her, her uh, love handles. Yeah. Uh, so, but here's the funniest part. She had no ass to speak of, not even like a, a little bit. She was such an oddly shaped woman. So it was like two stick legs with her ass way higher than what it should be because her, her love handles look like an ass. Yeah. It looked like someone took a bunch of saran wrap and just wrapped it around her ass and then she got dressed. Nothing. Yeah. It was just so fucking weird. I don't, I don't know what the fuck it was all about. And but, she wore, wore entirely too much makeup too. Yeah, she did. It was like fucking Mimi from the Drew Carey show. We're mean as fuck. I don't you know. Fuck, right, whatever. Yeah. Fuck top bus. Surprised <laughs> I didn't get fired earlier than I did. What are some of the other dumb shit you did? Because you, you pretty much clocked the, the biggest amount, I think. Who, Greg? Oh, yeah. Yeah. By far. Greg, um, Greg. I did heroin, did cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I meant we're we're the, talking about I meant at the restaurant. Places. At the restaurant. Or... <laughs> uh, I ball tagged you a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys pretty much ever... daily. Well, at least she lost the weight, jerk face. Yes, I know. That was my point. I Kudos to her for doing it. But Yeah, you know what the weight was? It was her brain because she was fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> she did lose. The- she, she, she was dumb. Yeah, and, and, and another funny thing is you know how she lost the weight? A little nose candy. That's how she did That's it. It's the best diet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, was yeah. it? Was she on the nose candy? I know half of them. Oh, were. I just remember another girl we used to make fun of. Do you remember Emily? Yeah. Yeah. She not Emily. Uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Katie's sister. Were you there when she was there? She had really. She had a lot of arm hair, and we always called her Chewbacca. Yeah. You were there for yeah. oh yeah. She she was a pretty girl, but she had like really bad arm hair. Italian as fuck. Yeah, looked and, like him really. <laughs> and like she was actually really cool. Like it, you could make fun of her, bust on her, but that really bothered her because she was like, people. When I was in second grade, they used to make fun of me for having arm hair. And she'd walk in the kitchen, and we'd just be like, like Chewbacca noises. All I never did to. that. Bullshit. I never. Bullshit. Right. Yeah, you know what? No, because I was afraid that Katie would kick my ass. Yeah, you know what Jay did? He just would eat chicken wings in front of the vegan that we had working there. <laughs> oh, <of course. laughs> wings were fucking delicious. Yeah, they were. They really were. Uh, Trevor is uh, proposing to Jay right now. Greg. He's <laughs> proposing to Greg. Proposing to Greg right now. I didn't see shit, Trevor. <laughs> but if I fuck your mom, maybe I did. <laughs> uh, yes, actually, the the movie Waiting is not a fictional story in the slightest. I know. I remember when Waiting came out. I, I was like, this is everything in this is true. <laughs> like, I, I can tell you the specific waitress who goes through the kitchen goes, motherfucking cocksucker, oh, son of a bitch, I fucking, walks through the kitchen door. like, hey, how are you today? I, I hated her. I remember one time I walked into the place, like, coming into work, and she goes, do you have to use that door? And I'm like... <laughs> There's like two doors in the whole place, and I used one of them, and she just didn't wasn't having it. <laughs> I remember the one day we had a banquet that we were trying to do, and uh, we're putting up the food for this banquet, right? We have a signed fucking contract that says exactly what time we're supposed to have the food up. We put the food up, begin to put the food up. She's like, I'm not ready for this. I'm like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. I have a signed fucking contract that says you need to deliver this shit right the fuck now. Yeah, that really pissed us off. And she went and cried to the to the, to the floor manager. The floor manager came back and goes, they have a contract. Yeah. It says the time on it. Yeah, and, and it, she was just fucking god awful. Yeah, she reminded me of the girl in waiting that, you know, she flashed everyone her vagina. It's and it so had, angry. Yeah, and it had, like, thread and beads in her pube hairs and shit. And she, like, picks one out and throws it. Uh, <laughs> Missy says if... Uh, We're not you, talking about that. If the, you did... What you did no. there was half as bad as Wendy's, no. I can only imagine. <laughs> uh, tones People won't go to poor? Wendy's ever What's again. Up, How's it going? Yeah, we, we, won't, we won't say that one. We, all right. Greg pissed in the chili. <laughs> so we're not talking about this. And it wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, Greg. Some, Greg somebody did it. Yeah, Greg used to piss in the chili at Wendy's. It was only once. <laughs> it was only once. That, yeah, it, it only has to be once. That's fucked up. <laughs> it's sterile. It's like, sterile. Like, God, they, really wa- they really watered down the chili, man. They used to be a little spicier than this. It tastes like ammonia for I some still, reason. <laughs> I still remember the time that you uh, that you took a cheeseburger and shoved it in Carla's, <laughs> Carla's oh, my, that's... fucking uh, uh, gas tank. Oh, Jesus. She was not happy about that. <laughs> oh, we got another fucking bot repeating shit that Missy says. Well, which one? Giant is titties. Is it Ton Slentley or whatever? Yeah, yeah that, I'm, I'm, I'm blocking him. 
Oh, you're blocking them. Yeah. yeah, I just had to hover over the picture and see the half naked girl and realize it was a bot. Would yeah. you say what happened in the gas tank? Oh, what would you? What was it? A junior bacon cheeseburger, if yeah. I recall. You yeah, put a took... junior bacon cheeseburger in your gas tank. Not mine. <laughs> the bosses. <laughs> <laughs> How did you fit that in there? Fucking horla. Just, just crumble it the fuck up and yeah. yeah like... <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't know us She wouldn't anymore. know. She wouldn't know well, us. Was this the same Wendy's you tried to go and work for again? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was no, going to no. say, man. No. I was say, no, this, holy this, shit. This bitch Harlow was like the, the, the most... She you, was a cunt. Do you ever know, to, you ever know yeah, somebody... You cunt. Who gives a fuck? We were making fun of Jews and blacks and Asians. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> fuck top buzz. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever know uh, somebody who gets a little bit of uh, authority and it goes completely to their head? Yeah, that was her. That was Horla. So it was Hitler. Yeah, <laughs> Horla, bitch, Horla, Hitler, Hitler. I can see that. I knew a lady that always put her thumb in people's chili. Creep me out. That was probably like some strange OCD thing. Like she couldn't eat chili or like unless she put her thumb in it. That's what it sounds like to me. Ugh. You know what the funny part though is? Uh, while while waiting is generally a documentary, I have never seen anybody fuck with anyone's food ever. I know that's the thing. We 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 like I think yeah, I think at the both, restaurant. Yeah, we yeah we were actually we pretty good about. It. We had some pretty good. We fucked with that. each other's food. Oh yeah, but but never like a customers. Uh, that's one thing that I always laugh at. You always hear these quote unquote horror stories. It's like you people don't have a fucking clue. Like yeah. I I've never met a professional cook who has ever fucked with anybody's meal. Yeah, I it no. just it doesn't make sense. I've me. I've seen people make it half ass on purpose, oh, but yeah. I've never seen anybody. Uh, the thing or, that really or if they send it back, burn the fucking shit out of it. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. Done there that. you go, eat that. I remember someone ordered a mid rare tuna, and they're like, they sent it back. They're like, I don't want any red in it. It's like you fucking cunt. Like I, people that go out to eat should not go out to eat. If you don't, if you don't know what you're talking about when you go out to eat, just don't go. And if you have gluten free allergies, just stay home. Or, or actually, you know what? Take it a step further. It's not even a real thing. Yeah, go. No, yeah, it's like not a like real 2% thing. percent of the population. Not even that. It's like point nine or some shit. And it's like if you have that allergy and you fucking like fake it or whatever like that, just don't not go to restaurants. Just fucking kill yourself. Like because or, no or one if wants you to. have an allergy like uh, like onions. First off, no one's allergic to onions. They just say that because they really. Don't <laughs> I want used you to, to say that because I don't like onions. Yeah, well, a lot <laughs> of I used to say that all the time, thing. didn't I? But uh, the thing is, if you're allergic to onions for real, honest to goodness, allergic to onions, don't go out to eat. I know. There's onions over everything. Like, you cook them on the flat top. They get over the spatulas and shit. It's just fucking... It's bullshit. You're, you're annoying. If you go out and you have allergies, you're fucking annoying. Get in the car... Drive off a cliff and fucking kill yourself. Yeah, because we ain't cleaning the fucking grill for you. <laughs> it's just not happening. I just, uh, I don't know. When I go had... out to eat, I try to make everyone's that works there's life as less painless as I can. Yeah. And it's just, people go to restaurants and they drive me fucking nuts. I'm not talking about it because I get too fired up. Well, I remember one time, uh, this vegan, this militant vegan, the, the, the one that would chase down an ice cream truck just to tell the driver that she's a vegan, that kind of vegan. Comes storming into the restaurant, you know, and it was like, Ow! Trevor's mom. Oh, <laughs> I'm a vegan. So she she wants this fucking veggie burger, right? But she wants it cooked on a surface that has never touched meat. Not possible. That's what I said. Uh, I ended up putting it in a pan in the oven, and I'm sorry, but it's not. It, it there's nothing there's nothing i can do for you guarantee there was meat on that pan at one point absolutely vegans can eat a eat a dick wait, wait maybe, maybe not, not. <laughs> yeah that's too, that's too much meat for in west texas that's that's way too much meat. I, I have a shellfish allergy so i purposely don't go to restaurants that serve seafood uh that's I, i'll tell you this missy that's a very common allergy and we don't get upset about that uh, we try very hard not to get that. But if you say something stupid like onions, it's like, I'm sorry, you, we can't help you there. Yeah. I can't even promise that the fucking seasoning I'm using on your food doesn't have I know, exactly. In it. And that's the thing. There's so much shit and in, in food and in, in, uh, seasonings and everything like that. It's just god fucking awful. I mean, if you go to a crab house, though, and you have a shellfish allergy, that's pretty stupid. Yeah. But, I mean, if you, if, if you go to a, a, a standard restaurant that has you know clams and shit on the menu menu you know most of us would all be very well accommodating to that yeah and it's just it's fucking it's just stupid stay at home just don't be a fucking douchebag the fuck is a blue steak i don't know i i assume he means blue, blue rare, rare maybe where oh. it's like still mooing yeah like you poke it and it gets up and tries to crawl away <laughs> bites back <laughs> yeah it bites back and it, it asks you for its uh udders and it still has the udders attached to it 
<laughs> That's utterly ridiculous. I know. <laughs> That's about the only sound effect I use anymore. Yeah. That's Here, hang on. Let's play a couple for fun. Stop it! I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, Fuck you. That's, that's, that's my hope. That's my hopes and dreams. Earn money. <laughs> I love that one. That's from oh. our very first episode. This Earn one. money. Yeah, you can tell how bad the echo Stop is. Stop breaking the law, asshole! That goes oh. out to Amanda Jay's wife. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Jay's Shit. getting it. Jay's, I don't think she was on when he told that story. Jay's getting it. Yet. Jay's getting it when he gets home. I'm <laughs> no, I'm not getting it. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. This will be our bedroom. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay's wife. I didn't mean to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry. <laughs> didn't mean to hurt you. That song's amazing. Didn't mean to make you cry. Was that Boy George? Or was that, um, what's that other faggot's name? Well, I mean. <laughs> Tommy couldn't say that. We can't. Ah, whatever. You're literally. I don't care. I'm pissed fuck. that Top Buzz keeps. Fuck you, Top it's Buzz. It's not Top Buzz now. It's going to be iTunes. Nah, and we need fuck. iTunes. Dude, we have 60 some fuck. We have never 60 mind. some episodes. Um, and we haven't been banned yet. So Yeah, it's because we never went that fucking blatant uh, about uh, whatever. shit. Whatever. 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 This is America. Fuck all you people. Periscope <laughs> doesn't give a fuck at what we do, but, you know, like. If we would get banned from iTunes, that'd be bad because most of the other podcatchers pull from iTunes. Oh, really? Yeah, so Apple has a fucking. Well, don't be a fucking <laughs> bunch of liberal pieces of shit then. <laughs> like, fuck you guys, you politically correct cunts. <laughs> so this is the last show, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's been fun. We appreciate you all. <laughs> this, is, this is the last show. Um, uh, hey, so I got to keep your eyes peeled, by the way. I got a. Uh, Really cool uh, Christmas-themed T-shirt coming out pretty soon and a Christmas-themed ugly sweater. That's Greg in a, oh, uh, with a mistletoe covering his loins. <laughs> well, within the next... That's uh, scary. Gross. Within the next <laughs> week or so, uh, we'll have those live. Oh, excuse me. It is uh, the Rape Santa. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have the Rape Santa from way episode. back in our first episode. <laughs> we're going to have a Rape Santa ugly Christmas sweater, and we're going to have uh, All Hail the Dark Lord Santa. Uh, that should be a good one, too. So, uh, nice, man. Can't wait. keep your eyes out for that. They're, that's going to be good. I have to draw it, though. <laughs> that's going to oh, take nice. a while. Well, whatever. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Mm, yeah. And, and we actually got to remember to do our Christmas special because we completely forgot to do the Thanksgiving one. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I cooked. Huh? He did. I, did. I cooked. For what? The Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving special. No, you didn't. That was our Patreon. Uh, yeah, Patreon. Same thing. No. We were talking about, like, we like last week, uh, year we dressed up and shit and stuff, and we completely forgot about it. <laughs> but whatever. But that's uh, that's about time. That was a good show. Uh, we're about I have time. to go to work. Yeah. What time do you got to go to work? 10? Le- 11.45. Oh, Jesus. I got a raid tonight. New raid came <laughs> out. <laughs> Man, uh, they're, they're conspiring against me in the chat right now. Mama Bear, my wife, and Tuffy are all. They're conspiring. Good. Jay deserves it. He's an asshole. I'm not the. Do you want me to make him walk he home? He beats his wife. <laughs> I would never. My wife would kick my ass. Yeah, she would. She I, won't, I won't allow him in the car. I got you. <laughs> she works out. I don't. Yeah. She, and that's the funny thing. Jay's wife would beat him up. So you know that's never true. But anyways, like we I said. I just bought her a new phone for Christmas. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Even, even even that, yeah. But uh, I that's wonder about what it. Tomer would look like vaping. Uh, this guy right here. Uh, that's about it, everyone. Thank you. Uh, it was a fun episode. Thanks to everyone that uh, was in the chat today, uh, jabbing around. Uh, thank you to not my girlfriend. Um... Hit him, <laughs> ex girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, your ex girlfriend. Yeah, um, she's making me dinner tomorrow. Not anymore. <laughs> not, not anymore. <laughs> Fuck, she ain't. You ain't making dinner tomorrow. I'm gonna get, uh, uh, you know, domestic. Bitch, violent. get in the kitchen. <laughs> Is that, is that what you're after here, I'm bitch? Get in the kitchen. I, I'm just joking, not really. But um, yeah. So thank you, everyone. Um, if uh, Jay, do you have any plugs, butt plugs you need to do? Uh, butt plugs that we need to do. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who are not patrons yet, become patrons. We do some really cool shit. We got more stuff that's uh, planned coming up. So definitely uh, become a patron at Patreon.com/slash Openly Hostile Opinions. Uh, keep an eye out for our new T-shirts we got coming out. Um, uh, follow us on Twitter uh, at Hostile Opinions. Follow us on uh, Google Plus if you use that shit that nobody else seems to use, or follow us on Facebook, Openly Hostile Opinions. Um, if if you uh, send enough uh, love to Greg, he'll he'll take a shirtless pic for you. <laughs> <laughs> don't do drugs. Yeah, don't, don't do, do drugs. Don't do drugs or do a just lot say of no. Things. Don't do drugs and don't get a girlfriend. 
Everyone, have a good night. Bye. Bye. Peace. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>